Yeah, no, uh, D. Led. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm proud to coach this group. You know, you know, we're building something in there, and these guys fight. And so you go on the road like this against a really good veteran team, and we, our guys kept swinging. It's unfortunate with the what happened at the end. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll go in there and we'll watch the tape, and we'll keep, keep moving forward and correct things. But you got a ball game. It's 28-25. We're backed up. We get to third and inches, and we don't convert. Um, and then obviously they get the short field, and they go up, and then a couple tip balls later, and that's what the score was. But we got a group of fighters in there, D. Led, and I'm proud to coach them. No, I just think that what happens is, I mean, it's, it's humid, humid as hell out there. Um, you know, we, we, I got to look at it. I don't want to overreact there, D. Led, but a lot of times those guys are rushing. They're tired, and so it's just kind of two, two guys kind of fighting in the mud there. Um, and they did a nice job getting their hands up. We got to evaluate, you know, how that happened, why. But that's my snap judgment. How much did that client that took them on the 43 change the momentum? There's a lot of uh, plays. You know, you can't just blame it on one play. You know, it's a lead up. You know, we we got to be able to convert third and inches to not even put it put the punter back there. You know, everybody's got a job to do. Um, obviously, you get down in the fourth quarter, those plays are magnified. But there's a lot of plays that lead up to it. Like everything, we'll, we'll, we'll go in there and evaluate what we did well, what we didn't, and uh, we, you know we got to keep improving. Clearly. Look, the margin of error is small in the NFL, and it usually comes down to you know turnovers, and then, right they they we had three, they had one. And you know, ours came at critical times in the fourth quarter. And I would say that about any game in the NFL. I mean, very few times you'd say the margin of error is big in the NFL. I mean, these are professionals. Uh, you have two teams going out there and fighting it out. So that's everything. That's every week, Michael. Margin of error is small. Yeah, look, I mean, they got what? Two pick sixes, all uh, tip balls. So that's 14 points right there. So yeah, it looks ugly in the in the box score. You know, if you're just on the surface looking at it, but understand the context of the game. Um, you know, we got a chance in the fourth quarter. We we got to convert and to go win it, or worse, you flip it. We had all our three timeouts. Maybe you pin you know pin them back and 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 you got it. You got a chance, but we didn't convert. They did, and that was the difference. Yeah, you had the one right at the beginning of the half, too. All right. What's that? Right. Well, look, I mean, the, the things of why that happened backed up. You know, I could give you the reasons. They sound like excuses. We, we can't let that happen for multiple reasons. Um, you know, and luckily we didn't. We still had a timeout, and we, we handled the situation pretty well. I mean, they had a array of penalties. We took advantage. We were getting the ball, uh, hoping to go double them up. We got a field goal right at the end of the half, and then you know we get the ball, rip off a decent run, and they tip it up and they intercepted it. Right, and then they believe they went up 28 to 10. So, yeah, we we got to clean stuff up. That's every week. We'll look at that, Jeff. But you know, I, I haven't said all that. These guys keep swinging. And you take advantage, and at least where there's a positive, we handled the situation before the half. Uh, but we didn't double them up because we got the tip ball right there, and they went up 28-10. I was going to say, does it make it even more frustrating when you do, you do a lot of good things out there, but then you have these other things that are just sort of? There's usually a reason when you lose. You know, when you look back on those, uh, it certainly doesn't help. Uh, but there, there's everything. We got 15 more. This group's going to fight, Jeff. Uh, that's who we're going to be, and we're going to keep improving. Yeah, sure. You know, you go in there. We were, we were better in the red zone. Um, like I said, two minute right before the half. Uh, proud of the defense. You know, we went aggressive. Uh, they stopped us on the quarterback sneak, and the de you know we put the defense you know out there with the short field with, with Tom Brady over there. But those are the risks. We weren't going to come out here and and not swing. Um, so yeah, I mean, those are the things that kind of stick with you. And these guys kept coming back and back and back, and it's just a shame when you get in there and you're in a three point game and then it. It ends the way it does, but 
again, they took advantage and credit goes to Tampa. What defensively, how do you think you all contended with Brady? Look, like I said, I mean, the score got out of hand, but a lot of that was on the offense, right? I mean, you could almost put four of those touchdowns, give or take. Two of them, for sure, were pick sixes. One of them was a tip ball right into, into the red zone. And then the other one, we went for on fourth down. So uh, I know that you know everybody feels sick when you get the, you see that box score, but there was some positives. They got to the quarterback. We had, uh, Dante made a big big play. That was a huge play. You're looking for another positive there, Jeff. You know that that changed things because that could have gotten ugly. And Dante stepped up and uh, and and caused the sack fumble. You know those guys. They got, they, they, at times, they got pressure. I mean, we, we knew they were going to throw it down there, and credit to them. They made the plays. When, when AJ goes down, what, he's out. You know, now he's at, you know, he's out. You know, what does that mean to you guys? What does that mean to what maybe y'all are able to do? Michael, it's, it's, that's life in the NFL. We got to look at it. Um, got to look at the injuries. Obviously, we'll, we take everything serious. And it's the next guy up. and. That's our job as coaches to adapt, and like I said, that that is unfortunately that is life in the NFL. And so you've got to find ways and, and put the guys in the best position to succeed. And so we'll look at that. Uh, you know, we we don't have to make the decisions right now. The one play that might have been overlooked was the, the return, right? Uh, start third, fourth, fourth, fourth. Yeah. Up the so they picked up the horse collar. Is that what you're asking about? Yeah, and they also they had the horse collar, so there was two flags, and they picked up the horse collar, and so they went with the uh, block in the back. Again, that's their call. Uh, those guys have a tough job to do, but yeah, that was a pretty big, uh, yeah, swing there, because that kind of led, I believe, right? They led uh, coming out. We had the run. The next one was the tip pass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because. Here's why. I mean, you, you want to get something positive going. We had something we were trying to get in the punt. Um, you know, clearly it didn't work. And just where the game was right then, and you got to make those calls. You know, you don't want to, again, give them the short field. I felt better the next time. Wanted to be aggressive. Got into it. I felt we needed something to get us, get us a spark or something to go through. So that was why. I mean, the, the numbers are, I mean, it's flip a coin there when you go for it. But early in the game, where I felt we were, I made the judgment to send the punt team out, see if we could get them to jump. Obviously, we didn't, and so we punted him. What do you think about Cordero, Cordero Patterson tonight and how you guys were able to use him in different ways? Yes, CP is a good football player, so we hope to build off that. Um, it's fun to coach. Glad he's on our team. Was the confidence to study the results of a matchup you saw coming in or just the way the game went? No, I, I think it's, it's a show, it's a sign of his growth. Uh, like I said, I had Kyle. We'll continue to add every week. Uh, it's a credit to him. And then obviously the comfort level with Matt and him, I think you're seeing that starting to pay off. His growth in the sense that he, he's got more of the package now or just becoming a better football player? Today? Oh, it's, it's hard. It's a hard position to play in the NFL in the way we ask him. I mean, you're asking him to go be a receiver. You're asking him to go block like a tackle at times. And uh, we move him all over the place. A lot of rookies can't handle that. Kyle clearly can. And like I said, I, I'm excited. We got 15 more opportunities to work with this group, and it's a long season, and we got to continue to get better. Um, there was good signs, but obviously we got to find a way to win these games, and, and not have the things that happen in the fourth quarter. That's the difference. Do you have to be methodical with what you give a rookie and how you give it to? Them? They're all different. They're all different. Uh, the guys that coach. That's why I don't do comparisons because it's not one size fits all. It's what they can handle, and. You know, hopefully Kyle will have a long, productive career, but have other guys at that spot that it's been maybe slow, and then they've taken off year two, year three. Well, I think what you're seeing is why we brought Kyle in here. I think his growth is, has accelerated, and what we're asking him to do. So, uh, pleased with that. Hopefully, continue to build off it.